Hello, it's Jed at JTS, and welcome back to another, I don't know, what should we call it? Another video, another tutorial on fixing cars. So we got a Caddy Maxi here, new addition to JTS, new works van. Uh, it's developed a humming noise. So I've investigated it the other day and it was the rear wheel bearing. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fit this. Um, this job can be done on the drive, um, obviously I'm lucky enough to have a set of ramps so yeah let's get cracking very nice okay now the wheels off um, we need to get into the wheel bearing so the wheel bearing is located inside this disc so we need to remove the disc and a caliper and a carrier. In order to remove these parts, you will need a ratchet. Uh, this one is actually bent. Better do the job, it's a half drive. And an 18 mil socket. There is a nut here for the carrier, as you can see. And then there is one following that, just underneath, which is there. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove them. All right, so both bolts removed. Make sure, obviously, that the handbrake is not on. If the handbrake's on, then you're, you've got no chance of getting this off. So yeah, release the handbrake. Bolt here, bolt there, remove. You can leave these two caliper bolts in because the whole assembly comes off as one. So just give it a wiggle. There you go. So you can let that dangle or you can prop it up on this leaf spring here. There you go. There should be a pinch bolt in this disc, as so here. Uh, so T30, so just remove this, and then that will allow you to remove the disc. There you go, amazing. Look at that, eh? One disc. So now we can actually see the bearing itself. So that bearing has been driving me absolutely nuts. So next step, uh, this cap here has to be removed. So um, small screwdriver, just bang in, take the cap off. Now the centre bolt which holds the bearing on is an overly large, I don't know how to describe it, like Allen key kind of shape, hexagonal. Um, I have modified a tool previously because I've not had the kit. It's two lock and wheel nut sockets welded together. It may sound ridiculous, but that does the job because that fits. Um, it's a 17 mil to undo. Or if you do have the tools at home, or if you want to go out and buy some, you can actually buy yourself a kit, hub nut socket removal, uh, VW Audi. So I've got the set here. And believe it or not, the largest one I've got doesn't fit. So that's why I made myself this locking device. So 17 mil and breaker bar. There we go, so standing on the bar, give it a good bounce. Okay, so there's the old bolt. And then literally, once that's off, you should be able to just remove the bearing like that. So before refitting the new bearing, make sure all this dirt and grime, and make sure the sensor is clean. So you can grab yourself an old rag or some tissue. The bearing never gets stuck on there. You can lightly sand down this with sandpaper. Just so it seats on there nicely. So there's a sensor. Uh, one tip as well, make sure when you do unbox this, this reluctor ring is not damaged because that will actually give you the reading for the ABS on that sensor there. So once it's slotted over, you can see there the gap between the reluctor ring and the sensor. 
and in the box you will receive a new bolt so make sure that is always used with a different size head on it which is one of these so the size I've been given is an 18 you can get the torque settings online or you can just make sure it's super tight sometimes even a bit of locking thread on the, on the new nut won't harm just make sure it stays on there now I know it's not coming off, and we'll check. You have your new cap. There you have it. Anything else you guys would want to see or do or, you know, want to learn anything, let me know. Uh, give me a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. See you guys later.